Hello guys and welcome to my new video and today we're going to be looking at Miss Weaver Monk and whether you should main it and this is my analysis of Mythic Plus testing, Ray testing and basically how fun is Miss Weaver in the next expansion. In this video we're going to be looking at some of the builds that I was using in Mythic Plus in raids again Pinch Assault, Grain Assault, the talent builds can change. Blizzard has mentioned that they're not doing talent rework anymore but they're mainly focusing on things like spell balancing so anything can change from now to the release of the expansion so keep that in mind so let's go and have a look at the mythic plus talent build performance gameplay and is it fun in my honest opinion miss was one of the most fun healers to test out in dragonfall beta it's probably in the top two for me right now in terms of the class list and there's a lot of reasons for it i think essentially miss weaver is a melee healer done right there has been heavy emphasis on fist weaving phalan stop making a comeback the fact that ancient teachings got a both very very recently there is a lot of emphasis on fist sweeping build both in mythic plus and raid environments and if you are a melee enjoyer you're really going to like in my opinion what miss weaver turned out in the next expansion and every time i log on to the retail service or live service and i log on to my miss weaver monk i'm reminded about how blank and uninteresting miss weaver monk is in live service when compared to dragonflight beta because the beta version honestly is probably one of the best designed melee healers in a long time i didn't get to experience mr pandaria so i don't know what the gameplay was like back then honestly this might be the best iteration of monk in a very very long time so let's go to mythic plus and honestly this is my talent build and i have to stress the point that there is a lot of melee emphasis we're gonna go into the class tree right now just to showcase some of the things that i picked up someone white tiger statue something that i've been trying to experiment very 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 recently and you can see it right here it does have a relatively long cooldown but for mythic plus dealing damage is a big aspect of healing and mystery or monk is one of those healers that can deal damage and get healing benefit out of it which is a very very attractive point for a class that you want to main or possibly want to main now the class tree is okay i don't think it's the best class tree ever i think the fact that you do get instant vivify every 10 seconds leads to this how do i say you can heal a mythic bliss dungeon and barely ever hard cast any abilities and that is something very cool for a melee healer you're basically using all of your instant cast abilities to make sure you're dealing damage and keeping your group alive and now let's go to the spec tree itself and there's a lot of emphasis on fist weaving dealing damage and healing people through your damage you can see here phalan stomp there's nothing new about this this was evident or available in shadowlands but it just wasn't as popular now you have multiple nodes to make it stronger and encourage you to fight on phalan stomp in order to get the resets now another big thing ancient teachings used to be called ancient teachings of the monastery after casting essence font or phalan stomp you're no longer forced to cast Essence Font in Mythic Plus in order to get Ancient Teachings. Instead, you are promoted to fight on your Feyline Stomp and use your abilities and try and fish for resets. Now, there is going to be a lot of emphasis on how you approach each trash pack pull in Mythic Plus. For example, hey, is the tank going to move the mobs away? Do I place Feyline Stomp right here? Again, I got the reset here. So once I get the reset, I'm able to move with the tank, able to move with the mobs. I'm able to use Feyline Stomp and this is going to proc Ancient Teachings. So you don't actually have to cast Essence Font at all. And this all leads to this. Again, I need to show you the clear picture. Feyline Stomp, multiple nodes into Feyline Stomp, Ancient Teachings being procced by Feyline Stomp. And then you also get benefit from Rising Mist, which also encourages you to deal damage. And all of this combines into an interesting and overall engaging gameplay in Mythic Plus. For example, this is some of the sample runs that I did in Mythic Plus. And throughout the whole dungeon, I barely had to hard cast any abilities. And by hard casting, I mean I didn't have to cast things like Soothing Mist. I was able to use Feyline Stomp, do my DPS abilities, proc Ancient Teachings, spread my Renewing Mist, which are instant cast. And if someone needed healing, I would use my Vivify, which most likely will be instant cast Vivify, which will also spread healing to Renewing Mist targets. And if things got really rough, I might use my Celestials like Red Crane in order to provide me with more HPS to deal with the given moment. And if a tank was dipping really low, Cocoon was there to save the day. This kind of gameplay felt really good because this, in my eyes, is the perfect melee playstyle. You do not have to or forced to cast a lot of abilities to have a long cast time. You're basically using instant abilities as a melee healer, which means that the gameplay or the flow feels a lot more smooth and not clunky when compared to other melee healers or other healers in general. And in terms of some other talents in the spec tree, I did try out Invoker or Red Crane and I thought that felt pretty good. I was trying out Jade Bond versus Gift of the Celestials in terms of 
do I need one minute red crane? How do I optimize one minute red crane and things like that? And this is something that I feel like you can test out and see how it feels. I also was testing out Zen Pulse because it recently got buffed. I did try out Echoing Reverberations and things like that, but I still don't know how to feel about Zen Pulse in terms of the damage that it's outputting. I need more testing on this. So that's some of the things that I feel like you can go ahead and try it out. You have Feyline Stomp to do everything that you need. And this is why I said that playing Mystery Monk in retail or live service right now, where you have to cast Essence Font and Mythic Plus to proc Ancient Teachings, that feels really bad. And honestly, it's highlighted by how much better it feels to use Feyline Stomp. And I've said this for, I don't know for how long in Shadowlands. Something like Phalan Stomp should be built upon because it just feels really great, especially in Mythicus environments, and the fact that it's proccing Ancient Teachings feels so good. On top of the fact that if you're not casting things like Essence Font, your mana and your mana usage is going to be pretty good. I actually had no mana issues when running this build, when using or playing correctly. Again, I do have some bad habits. I'm still casting, or it was relatively difficult to not cast essence font in mythic plus because in my mind it's always proccing ancient teachings so that's something that i need to get out of but once you actually get used to the play style the mana issues are not there you can keep people alive by just doing your dps rotation and if something really bad happens you can't spam vivifies you can't go into this emergency mode you can't try and use the celestials if you have them but overall the dps healing in the gameplay felt really really nice and rewarding if you are a melee enjoyer this is honestly as good as it gets. And now let's go to raiding Mr. Monk and the build that I was running in the gameplay associated with it and whether it was fun or not. But in terms of the spec tree, I think there are a couple of changes. Now, when I was testing Miss Weaver back a couple of weeks ago, there were a couple of different builds emerging or, tr or at least people were trying them out, but that kind of changed. And everyone went back to the good old ancient teachings after the buffs, after the changes to the class. So you do a Phalan Stomp, which can proc or will proc Ancient Teachings, which feels pretty good. You have Ancient Teachings. I have been testing out Yulon in Raid Environments and Red Crane. I, I'm still not 100% sure which is going to be the best. I think Red Crane does have a small edge, but honestly, Pinch of Salt, Grain of Salt, anything is open to interpretation in terms of talent builds right now because spell tuning is going on every single week. So the build might look completely different when Dragonfight is released. I've been trying out Jade Bond as well. And again, Rising Mist is making a comeback, Phalan Stomp is making a comeback, Ancient Teachers is make, making a comeback, and I have been experimenting with Upwelling. That's something that probably is the biggest difference between Mythicless build and Raiding build. You do have a point in Font of Life, and you do have a point in Upwelling, and all of a sudden, using your Essence Font is, you know, you're encouraged to use Essence Font in Raiding environment, especially because it does work with your tier set in a pretty decent way. Now, if you do cast the Essence Font over and over again, you will run out of mana. So you have to pay attention to that. You have to be smart about how you play your Mistweaver Monk in raid environments because mana can be an issue if you're trigger happy with Essence Font. But the fact that this streaming build is making comeback both in raid and in mythic close feels really good if you enjoy that melee playstyle. You can go into melee, you can use your, again, things like Feyline Stomp that's going to activate Ancient Teachings. You can go into your DPS rotation. You can do good amount of healing from Ancient Teachings, and then you can accumulate stacks to your Essence Font with Upwelling during AoE situations, and then you can even ramp during AoE situations using a Celestial. There is similar gameplay that you have in Mythic Plus and in Raid, but more emphasis on Essence Font in Raid environments, at least for this given point. We'll have to see how it's going to shape up in the future. But the fact that you have a healer that can deal damage, and it will heal people through that damage, and also you can get mana if you have talents like Spirit of the Crane. It feels really good to have this, how do I say, a melee healer choice. There's nothing wrong, you have seven healing specs in the game right now, there's nothing wrong with a couple of those specs being pure melee or having Heavy emphasis on melee playstyle. I know there are still people who really want the range Mistweaver build and people want choices, but honestly, if you've been playing Mistweaver Monk in Shadowlands, you've probably been playing Fistweaver. And this Dragonfly build for Mistweaver Monk is the enhanced version. The fact that you can go and play Mythic Plus Dungeon without almost never hard casting abilities, depending if you get into sticky situations, the fact that you have instant cast Vivify every 10 seconds, the fact that Feyline Storm procs ancient teachings, the fact that there is a lot of... You feel like you're actually doing healing when you're dealing damage. That feels really cool. And you have multiple other tools to deal with AoE situations or dangerous situations, both in Mythic Plus and Raids, in terms of how you optimize your Celestials. I think this spec might actually be as close as it gets to a perfect melee healer. And if you are a melee healer enjoyer, 
this is definitely going to be the main for you.